What's up troopers? Welcome to the Trooper Transmission. This is CT3939 and today we're going to be breaking down the backstory of everyone's favorite boisterous bruiser, Wrecker, as we get ready for the release of the Bad Batch Season 2. Wrecker was a clone commando who served in the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars as part of Clone Force 99, an elite squad of soldiers with desirable genetic mutations. Wrecker was engineered with superhuman strength, which he showcased as he lifted a damaged LAAT gunship off of Commander Cody as seen in the Clone Wars Season 7. In addition to destroying Separatist droids with his bare hands, Wrecker specialized in heavy weapons and demolitions, an expertise that likely led to the scarring and blind eye on the left side of his face. His go-to weapons were his long knife or DC-17M interchangeable weapon system. To cover a face only a mother could love, Wrecker adorned a helmet that portrayed an open mouth of a beast painted on the front. His modified katarn class commando armor provided considerable protection as it saved his life after being shot in the chest plate by Crosshair in Episode 1 of Season 1. This towering soldier stood 6 foot 6 with a frame far broader than that of any clone in the Grand Army of the Republic. When fleshing out his character, Brent Friedman and Mac McNovitz worked with Dave Filoni to flesh out Wrecker to be a character similar to the Hulk from the Marvel comics. Some of his best moments on the battlefield include releasing the Wrecking Ball as Wrecker charged down a hall of battle droids in the Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 4, or going blow to blow with Moochie, the teenage Rancor, to establish who was Alpha in Bad Batch Season 1 Episode 5. His arc included several scenes of him with a screaming headache, which foreshadowed the triggering of the inhibitor chip causing him to turn into a monster, hell-bent on killing Omega. I don't think I ever laughed harder than in the following episode 8 when he tossed a torpedo at a clone trooper, displaying his brutish strength. But despite his intimidating sized muscles and explosive personality, Wrecker was really just a gentle giant. He had a stuffed doll named Lula to comfort him, and he loved snacking on Mantel Mix with Omega after a mission. Though he might not be parent material, he makes the perfect, crazy, fun uncle as seen on Salukmai when Cut Quain's kids refer to him as Uncle Wrecker. I think one of the things that makes Wrecker so compelling is his oscillations between destruction and being a big brother to Omega. If you're like me, you probably want to know where you can get some cool Wrecker collectibles. I've linked down to those below in the description. Thanks for watching. Comment below who you'd like to see next and be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and want to see more. This is CT3939 signing out. I'll catch you on the next Trooper Transmission.